guys welcome back so today's video I have a random haul uh, I w didn't know what I was gonna film actually and I ran out to do some errands and I actually think I have enough to do a video of a haul so that's what I'm gonna do today uh, please excuse the mess don't don't look back there girl okay don't look back there stuff's going on in this room right now and that's why I'm sitting like this because there's no room anywhere else no, but I have my bucket up here that's like, um, because I've been buying so much Halloween stuff and I don't decorate for Halloween until October. So I put it in the tub because it was like all over my vanity, the floor, and I didn't want anything to break. So I brought a tub up here and I stuck all my like Halloween stuff in there. And there is even some Christmas stuff in there. Shh. I started shopping for Christmas too. And there's like USPS mailers on top because something that I got today I need to mail so I grabbed that while I was out so that I can uh, bundle it package it up uh, so yeah so ignore the fact that you guys are like looking down at me but I have you guys like on a on an Ikea packs shelf so th this is this is the situation that we're dealing with okay um, so yeah so I have a bunch of random packages and I'm going to try to make this a really quick video because this is not even the video I had planned. I kind of wanted to do like a clean my room with me and uh, start decorating for fall. So I'm going to see if I have time for that. Um, so I want to get these bags out of my way. So um, we're just no order. I'm just whatever's closest to me. Um, and before we get started, hey girl, if you're new here, I'm Evita. I'm weird. I talk. I all out of order I'm just a mess but I film pink and girly videos on this channel and you guys can see uh, what my room looks like so if any of this looks interesting or if I sound interesting or if you guys like pink and girly then consider subscribing and to all of my returning peeps then hey okay I went to Target because I was like, I heard the dollar spot was popping and I am still looking for more of those cute velvet, like $1 pumpkins that my friend Janine sent me one. Thank God she sent me one because if she didn't send me one, I wouldn't have one. You can kind of see it. It's like right here. I had already stuck it out on my shelf. Uh, but yeah, oh my gosh, I just realized even, even the mirrors in here. This is my bathroom mirror. I was trying on some pants yesterday because I was decluttering my pants and i forgot to put the mirror back so ignore that too just ignore everything except the stuff i'm gonna show you i didn't find the pumpkins uh but i ran into these and i was like oh the clear gumball machine so i guess apparently they have iridescent ones and clear ones i didn't know that i just saw it and i was like oh i found it and then when i was looking at i was like this is an iridescent so i guess there was clear ones too um this was five dollars and i did pick up two um i had already taken the other one out of the bag because it was in the bag with the bananas and i took the bananas out so uh so yeah so i did pick up two of these they were the last two and i'm sorry i was that person who took them both um but i was just like thinking if i use this for like a kid's party like a kid's party my daughter's birthday party or something i would want one at each end of the table so I was like I kind of need two so I feel bad that I took them both but I took them both uh, they should have more than just two or maybe I'm just late and got lucky so that was Target I don't know if I have anything else actually from Target because the rest of the stuff we spent so much money in Target and it was all for my daughter she is spoiled you guys um no, we don't want to go there yet. Let's okay. I ran into the Dollar Tree um, also because I saw that they had a sign that says "Hey Boo" that's like in this black frame, and people are DIYing it and making it pink and pretty. I wanted that. They also have like little plush pumpkins. I didn't find neither. Aunt, eh, aunt, eh. no. I swear I don't ever get lucky. But I did remember that they had cute stationery, so I perused over there and I found stuff. So I found these cute avocado pens. Aren't those freaking adorable? So they're just little pens with little avocado faces. It's a little pink pen. And 
I'm assuming they were $1.25, like everything in there. Um, and then I got also, I got really lucky because these are the ones I want. I wanted the avocado and the strawberry. These were buried and I found them. There were some rainbow ones and some dinosaur ones and they were behind those. So I got the strawberry ones. And then I found these cute sticky notepads. They have a peach and a strawberry. And I think there's probably like, they look like they might have like 50 sheets each. It doesn't say, but they look like about the 50 sheets thickness. So I thought those were super cute. And then I found these. These are cool. So these are some pens. I saw the pearl and I was like, I don't have a pen with a pearl. Most of mine have the little diamond. But these are actually really tall. Regular pens are like about to here. And these are like longer ones. So I thought those were cute. They had silver also, but I'm a gold gal. So I got the gold ones. And they have the little covers on the tip. So these are super cute. I can't wait to like write with these. And my planner and speaking of writing I found this cute composition book and it has the avocados all over so how cute is that gonna be with the avocado pen and it's just a regular uh, wide ruled notepad and it has a hundred sheets in here and then I found avocado folder and this is like the nice ones that you can wipe and then I like that they have holes in them in case you want to put them in like a trapper keeper or something or a binder and then they also have pockets so I like that I found the avocado folder the notebook and the pens but I did not find the strawberry folder they had one left and it was damaged but I did find this strawberry little envelope, uh, like bathroom type style. So that's cute. And I did not find a strawberry notebook either. But this will look cute with the pens. And I also bought my daughter a birthday card from my husband for her third birthday coming up in October. Uh, we buy her separate cards every year and they only had like a boyish looking one because you know it's blue and green. So this is from my husband and then I still have to find like a cute girly one because we both write messages to her in them in her cards every year. I want her to have a card from both of us until she's old enough to read them. So that was the dollar store. I'm just throwing everything back in the bag. Um, then, oh, let's see what this is because I'm not sure. I got this box here. This was at the door um, when I was coming in. It just says Bethlehem Fulfillment Center. I don't know what that is. message her right now and tell her I got them so you guys have probably seen this and it's so funny I swear this is not planned guys backpack and baby doll brushes these are SL Miss Glam's uh, newest makeup brushes and her sponges and she actually sent these together but for some reason I've had the backpack for a few days now, and we were scared these got lost, so I have to tell her that they're here. They arrived today. How cute is her card? It's so cute. Um, so there's a code, thanks20 for 20% 20 off, and I'm trying to see. All right, let's open that up. So she hasn't had sponges before, so this is a new item to her store. Oh, 
and it's a trio sponge set and I already saw how they look and they're really cool they're latex free and hyper allergenic and of course like with any sponge you can use them wet or dry so and then it comes with a little sponge stand too which is really cool so I'm just pulling it out so this is what it looks like and here's like my favorite cell that I always use when I use them I just like this one is like really good and then like powder like for contour I've never seen this one before this one is like really um, interesting so I'm gonna have to see how people are using this one see per tutorials and actually I like this is the kind that I always use so this one these are different see this one's more like that and this one's just here this is the style that I normally use I normally use it like this to put my foundation and then I usually turn this and go here but now I think this would be a lot better for here so that's really cool I like these two I want to know how to use this one so that's interesting and then I was trying to see if it says on here and then here is oh, this is so cute it's like a little heart and that's the base and then you just push this part down in there whoop and just put your sponge on there that's so cute oh my god Stephanie's so creative I love that so these are so cute so this is the sponge set and then let's get into these beautiful brushes because whew, they are so pretty so this is what the packaging looks like let me give you guys a close-up it will help if they're not upside down so they're baby dolls and she has had pink brushes before if you guys know who she is and if you guys have been following her for as long as I have uh, you guys remember her uh, first products were like those um, brush books that she used to come out with she had a, a pink set but it was a different color pink and instead of silver they had gold on them so I'm really excited about these because this is a pretty like one of my favorite shades of pink although I love all shades wow. like these are like a true like baby pale pink and do I even have some else that I can compare I do so this is like the original like pink from her uh, blush book blush brush book so you guys can kind of see and see they have the gold ferrules on them so god they are so soft stop are you kidding me these are gorgeous all right so now do you guys see the difference i'm trying to hide my nails because my my nail stuff has not finished working it's almost gone but not 100 percent. so don't look at my nails so that's the difference this is like really really pale this is like a more barbie-ish i guess you would say pink and then the silver versus the gold so beautiful oh my god these are absolutely beautiful and this is like a full set like a full face like it's like face and eyes um so that's cool and each brush actually has like the little brush protector so that you know when you wash them you can put those back on there to like size them shape them i can't speak today it's a fan brush so yeah there's two four six eight ten twelve thirteen fourteen i believe it oh it's 15 i can't count so i missed one somewhere so it's a 15 piece brush set so like i said it's the full face and you also get eye brushes so 
that's really really cool there's like basically a brush for everything this looks like a nice powder brush right here and obviously this is like a highlight and then there's even a smaller fan brush and this one is like a more dense one I think I would use this for like cream products and that one some of these are very unique that I don't I haven't seen this I think you can use as like a foundation one too with the ones that they like yeah it feels like it and then this is the kind that I use for blush for like a little bit of like angle to it and then you have like this is also a good one for highlight the one that's like that like right here I actually like these better than the fan brushes now. Um, and then you have these. You got like a fluffy one for the eyes. And that one. So these are super, super cute. Beautiful collection. Uh, Stephanie always does amazing. I have so many of her brushes up here on my vanity. They are always displayed. I also have this gorgeous purple set that she has. And like I said, there's just so many of them up here that are from hers. I have like her glitter ones up there too. Um, so thank you so much Stephanie for sending that stuff over. As you can see, I've already been enjoying my backpack. I actually have it my hand sanitizer i have my daughter's wipes i have some pull-ups in there everything fit like so perfect in there so i'm so excited about it um let's go to this package here yeah i was trying to make sure i wasn't showing the address so I can't even talk because it, I'm just so happy right now. <laughs> my friend, my friend Claudia sent me this palette. Um, I have been hunting and hunting and hunting this palette. I'm so happy to see how it finally comes because I was going crazy and I was like, I wonder if it's in a box. But no, it looked exactly like the pictures. I just, my sort honestly didn't have it. I was like, maybe I can't find it because it's in a box. But no, um, I'm kind of scared to open it because she was like, I'm going to put it in a bubble mailer. She's like, but um, I hope it makes it. I'm kind of scared. I didn't want to open this on camera because I don't want to cry if it's broke. It's a fun, you guys. Oh my God, it's just beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy, you guys. Thank you so much, Claudia. Like, you're truly, truly, like, the best. Like, y'all, this palette was only $6.99, and these people are trying to charge, like, $50 for this. I almost bought it off of Mercari. I'm so happy I didn't. Well, actually, <laughs> rewind. I did buy it off of Mercari, but I, it's a long, long story. Um, I had another friend who reached out and said she knows a girl who listed them. And I was hoping she wasn't upcharging and that it was going to be reasonable, like 20 bucks or something. Um, but she was charging, I think, 30 So I went ahead and I got it. And then immediately after I bought it, Claudia was like, I'm sending it to you. And it's a good thing because I had to cancel my order because the girl never shipped it. Um, so, yeah, it's a really long story. But I sent her a message and she said that she did, but the tracking's not updating. I don't know, but... I didn't want to take my chances and have a scam and then too late to cancel it. So I just canceled it. Because I got the, the message from Mercari saying, rate your seller. And I'm like, I haven't even got it. It hasn't even shipped. So anyway, I started opening the next package. Um, thank you again, Claudia. I'm super happy. I cannot wait. I have been waiting to do my vanity drawer, the middle drawer, 
because I was like, oh, I'm going to get the palette and I'm so excited now. I got to hurry up and finish filming so that I can do it. I got this sent to me by Milk Makeup. This is their new Future Fluid All Over Cream Concealer. And I got 13W. It looks kind of dark. Um, I guess I didn't match myself too good based off of the um, stuff that they showed me. Oh my god, the packaging is gorgeous. So it looks like that. It's a chunky little bottle. And it twists open. And that's what the wand looks like. Girl, I'm going to have to get up. Because you ain't focusing for them. Ah! I forget my address, you guys. So that's what it looks like. And I think that's a really cool shape. And it's not like super, super big, like um, Tarte Shape Tape, but it's also not, um, the wand isn't like too normal size. Does that even make sense? I don't think that made any sense, but I kind of want to see what this color looks like because this looks really dark. I don't think this is going to be an under eye concealer for sure for me. I'm going to have to probably use this as like when I have a tan. And I want to do like a no makeup makeup day. And I just want to like make it look like my skin but better. Like because I could tell this is dark. Look, I can't put that under my eyes. But like if I wanted to wear it like maybe all over my face. It blends pretty good. Like sometimes like see right here I'm a little red. Sometimes I put like. After all of my skincare, I will, like, go over, like, some of my redness. Or, like, right here. See how, like, my under eyes I look like it just woke up sometimes. My gosh, my eyes look so bad. Why am I so close and showing you guys? Anyway, um, y'all know I work nights. And, anyway. It feels really good. It blends really good. It did kind of cover. See, like it was a little bit more darker right there. And it did cover. I know it's not a perfect shade match. I'm just trying to see like the formula. The formula feels really good. It doesn't feel um, heavy or cakey or anything. It's not too thin also though. It's not like a runny one. So, we'll see. We'll see. I'll see what I use it for. But... Thank you to Milk Makeup for letting me try this out. It's hot in here. Alright. Moving on. So. Right off the bat. Shoes for my daughter. Because. They were cute, and I always walk out of here with shoes for her. Look how cute these are. They're like some little tie-dye shoes, and they were like, they're like those really stretchy ones. Super cute. These were only $12.99. And then these also were only $12.99. These are like some like head style shoes. They just are great with like holographic little hearts on them little slides i mean like little slip-on shoes they're cute figure with fall coming up show wear those so yeah so i always check out the kids shoes as soon as i walk in the door next i got really lucky with um let me find them and i will show you guys what i'm trying to say Stop hiding. I don't know how I found all of these because normally I don't. And I was like, what? I found all of these in one day. I was there last week and I found my Melody. 
and then the first one I found today was Hello Kitty and I was like oh my god I found Hello Kitty and I got so excited that was that one and I was like are you kidding me and then I found the other Hello Kitty next to it and then I found Karopi and then I was like oh my god him too so I was like wow I found a lot of them so I have the my melody one and then these so really cool I think I'm missing cinema roll and I don't know who else um I don't know if Kuromi has one <coughs> but that would be cool sorry like I said this was an impromptu video I didn't have time to make no coffee or nothing all right so I'm trying to throw these somewhere so that They don't fall then so by the way the reason I was there was because not only is there that pumpkin spice palette um and if you guys don't know the whole story about that you guys can thank Miss Glam Decor Bria uh for sending everyone in the pink community on hunt for that uh yeah so but there's also a palette uh I think it's like Hocus Pocus and then there's there's a couple and then there's these lip balms that are like in a circle and I think they're by body prescriptions or body beauty concepts it's one of those and they're like pumpkin spice and all that I was like searching for all of that like I knew Claudia was sending me this but I was still hunting the other stuff so didn't find it but because I was over to makeup I was like you know what I'm gonna find something that's pumpkin or Halloween or something and I found these sponges aren't those kind of cute i thought they were cute so it's another sponge trio these were 5.99 and they're by beauty concepts and this one's like green and then these are like two different shades of purple basically <coughs> so this one is an angled one and then it says one is for blending and one is for contour so what they look like i thought the little faces were so cute super cute and that's the price <clears throat> i always wear my hair in clips like i don't know i have a clip on right now i like to clip my hair um and i love leopard i love pearls and i found these and i thought they were cute i thought they were very fall vibes the little pearl one the leopard one a black one with gold a, a white with gold and this was like a marbly taupe color tortoise or something and then no that's tortoise i don't know you guys get me but i thought these were really cute and this was 7.99 i actually thought that was a little pricey but i mean usually i'm actually really good at not losing clips let me knock on wood because now i probably will but I've had this hair clip for whew, years and I wear the same clip most of the time. I have like two clips and I always wear the same one. So I'm not too bad at losing clips. So I feel like $7.99 for something I'll have for a long time ain't bad. Uh, I found these so cute. I didn't even know what they were. I ran. I saw a creme shop and I saw Minnie Mouse and I flew across the room and when I saw them they said refreshing gel eye mask for $4.99 and I don't know if I will ever get these in my skincare fridge or put them on but I definitely will display them somewhere because they're so cute but anyway they're for soothing relief uh to refresh your tired eyes I should use them right um it says refrigerate for a cooling sensation for a comforting warmth microwave in five second intervals intervals or until desired temperature is reached and you can wash them and reuse them so i just thought they were super cute did you guys want to see them close up it's like the glare but they're like sequin sparkly and stuff and then i found this also by creme shop crystal nail foul set and it's like a set of two and you get two glass files and a case, a little case. That's the case. And these are the files. thought those were really cute. Minnie Mouse. 
so I can put them in there and then put it in my purse and where's the price I swear I flipped this thing in a 360 and I can't find it oh yeah $5.99 and then more crumb shop crumb shop be taking all my money lately um more oh what is that i hope that looks nasty anyway i got hello kitty and Minnie mouse press-ons you can see that i'm like what is that in there hope it's in the packaging but these are the hello kitty ones super cute i love the length they don't look too long i might be able to wear these at work still and then these are the Minnie Mouse ones. I love these colors even more. I found these first and I was like, oh, I'm getting those. And then I was like, oh, I got to get Hello Kitty too. These were $5.99. Uh, you get 24 nails, like normal nail sets. You get a nail file and a nail glue. And a prep pad. So that's cool. Someone is sending me a Instagram message. Oh, and then I found these nails. They had a ton. If you guys are on the hunt for some Halloween nails by Kiss, don't even pay full price at like Ulta or Walgreens. Go run to Marshalls because they had like mm, at least 10 different styles. I had like four of them and then I was like, I just want this one. So I got this one. And they say they glow in the dark. And I just thought these are really pretty. They have glitter on the ones with the, the bats super cute and then I got I think just two more items three four more items I found one of these last week I showed you guys it's by little stars and wet and wild it was a lip scrub but it was like a peachy color and then I found a blue one today for the same price $2.99 so I thought that would be cute to um, add to the collection maybe it was two of them maybe it was both the other one is the other little star so that's cool that i have them both and then i was walking to check out and i found these uh shorts on clearance and i like how the front is like cuffed a little and then the back is a little bit longer if you guys can see that and they look really distressed they're stretchy they're high rise and they're by the brand Kinsey and I got a size 10 I was going back and forth between the 8 and the 10 but I felt like I'm kind of in between like the 8 would have been too tight and the 10 will probably be more comfortable for me so I got the 10 they had a lot though so I was like if they don't fit I can exchange them then I found these I honestly um I follow a lot of girls and they are always at Marshalls and TJ Maxx, all the discount stores. I don't think I've seen these being posted because I would have been trying to hunt them. Um, but I was looking for just regular pajamas and stuff. Not regular. I was, I was looking for Halloween stuff, but I was excited. I was like, there's pink ones. This is also by that brand Jekyll and Intamin. So they're super, super soft. And they're freaking pink Halloween ones. And I'm like, oh my god, I have not seen these. So I was so excited. And they're like my favorite with the uh, scrunchy bottoms. Not like flare or anything. So yeah, super, super comfortable. Really, really uh, soft and flimsy, light material. And these are only $9.99. That's such a good price. $9.99. And... They have little gnomes and pumpkins. Cute. And I got a size medium. I think I could have got a small. They look a little bit like they're the kind that will like kind of stretch out and be bigger after you wear them a few times. But it's fine. And then I saw this and I was like, I wasn't expecting this. And I was like, do I really want it? And I was like, of course I do. I saw Lindsay. I think this is the one Lindsay found. And when she showed it, I was just like, I do not need another robe. I was like, it's gorgeous, but I do not need another robe. I say that until I go in the store. And then I was like, <gasps> wow, look at that bling. I was like, I need it. It's like 
so cute so yeah so i got it and this was $19.99 i could have sworn it was $24.99 now that makes me feel better i saved five dollars uh and then i got a small medium it was like two of them that were small medium and then it does have like the belt on it wherever i'm like too high and then the front has the little jc like on the one of the sides this is so soft you guys i don't know if you guys can see um but it's like really really soft it's not um it's kind of like a tracksuit material basically so velour um i was trying to see if it does say that it's a velour but i'm pretty sure it is but the back is stunning and oh i lied y'all well no that's the color it says color is called cashmere rose i was gonna say this is cashmere no that's the color cashmere rose this is normally forty two dollars and yeah it's nineteen ninety nine at marshall's so that's the last thing i got from there but then guys guess who went back to marshall's and bought something else so when I was in the store, I was, you know, Instagram stories and posts and stuff. And speaking of Miss Glam Decor, she was like, girl, I need those pants that you're posting. And I was like, I left. I was like, but I will go back for you. So I went back. Uh, she was looking for these pants. Um, they're by Cynthia Rowley. And they just have, like, the cute pumpkin spice and donuts and leaves. And they had a bunch at my store and these were $12.99 and super cute I actually found the same exact pair last year so I didn't even know they had these again this year and so I was in the store and I was like oh they had a bunch of these I was like I got those last year so yeah I went back and I got those for her and I feel like I'm missing something oh no I'm not so I threw this in a bag and I was like, I'm missing a Ross bag. I'm not. I spent like $100 on Ross, but I got all kinds of Halloween decor for my living room and only found this juicy wallet. So I just threw it in this bag. But I was happy to find this because I don't have this little card holder yet with this little pattern. And it's just like their regular card holders. And it was $8.99 at Ross. And this says on the block word on the street card case. I don't know what color this one they're calling it, but that's the something just fell. And then, so when I went to get her pajama pants, I ended up getting these. And some dish towels, but the dish towels I put downstairs. But I didn't see these earlier, so I don't know if they had just put them out. But they had in these little bags instead of the boxes. Um, the Creme Shop three pack face mask, and these were four ninety nine each. And these say "Love You So Matcha," so they're like matcha tea kind. And I thought those were cute. So and there's three of them in there. Super cute. And then these are ready to, do they say glow? Yeah, ready to glow. And they look like that. Again, three of them for $4.99. So I picked those up when I went in there. And speaking of Hello Kitty, I got this on Amazon and it was delivered today. Uh, this is a little Hello Kitty fan that I found on Amazon because I was searching pink fans, pink handheld fans, because I need one for work because it's really hot in there. And everyone's been buying little USB fans to put next to our computers. And I was like, okay, I'll get one. But I want a pink one. And look, it has a little light. And then it turns on two settings. That's one. And that's two and then it has the little USB plug there and I thought that was really cute how you can turn it on 
And then it comes, of course, with the USB and something else fell out. I think it's like a little string if you wanted to like wear it around. And the picture on Amazon showed a lady like sliding it into her purse showing how sleek it is. And that it fits in a purse if that's what you wanted it for. But like I said, mine's is for work. Um, we walk around with like computer carts. <clears throat> so I don't have like a desk actually. So I'm going to just put it in like the little cup holder of the cart and then plug it into the computer so I can get some breeze because it'd be hot in there lifting boxes and stuff. So I got one more package, one more bag. And this is Walgreens. I went in there because my daughter wanted some chips. We did all this shopping and she was like she was hungry. And my husband's like, what do you want? And she's like chips. So I was like, oh, there's a Walgreens, and I don't know what they have, and they usually have really cute stuff. I, I used to go in there all the time for Valentine's, so I was like, I wonder what they would have for Halloween. So, girl, I went in there, and I just happened to get lucky because, look at how cute this guy is. It's a ghost little plant, like a succulent, and it's black if it looks green. I don't know if it looks dark green, but it's actually black. So it's like a spooky. It's like a black succulent. And it's a little ghost guy. And I don't even know how much it was. I didn't care. I was like, aww. So the lady was in the aisle putting all the stuff out for, for Walgreens. Like for Halloween, I mean. And there was nothing. Like the shelves were empty. There was like a yellow mug. And it just had like candy corns like everywhere on there. But not even like orange, white, and... Uh, yellow it was like an all yellow mug with like just white cutouts and it was kind of boring and I was like mm, they got nothing and then I walked around the store got my daughter her chips got me some snacks and then I, I saw that the pool stuff was on clearance so I found some pool toys on clearance for her and then you know when you want something and you're like mm, let me go take one more look so I went to take one more look and I didn't even find that first I found she like literally I was standing looking and she went like this and like placed it right in front of me and not like to be rude the sign actually matched up she put it where it was supposed to go a freaking ghost mug and I was like I looked at her and I go this is what I'm here for and it wasn't even like I knew that I just meant like something cute and like just <laughs> so I was like, she was like, yeah, I was like, yeah, so I was like, thank you, so she was putting two of them out, so this was $7.99, it doesn't have a price on the bottom, but I remember being $7.99, and I was like, oh. so they called her to the front to help the cashier, and then I was like, let me see what else is on her little cart, because she had boxes everywhere, and then I saw her cart, this guy, but it was cracked straight down the middle, and I was like, oh, he's broke and then I started looking girl he was on the shelf the whole time and I had passed him up because I think in my heart of hearts I was looking for mugs and I was like oh my god there's one right there and there was a pumpkin one too but I wanted the ghost so I thought they were really really cute and then I was like the sign next to the ghost mug where she put it said pumpkin mug and I was like so I waited until they she was done and she came back and I was like do you have the pumpkin mug too? She goes, pumpkin mug? I was like, yeah, I think it's orange because I Googled it while she was at the register. I was like, pumpkin mug Walgreens. And uh, of course, someone already posted about it. Like some, like those like Walgreens and Walmart and Costco, those kind of people that go hunting there. It was, it popped up. And I was like, oh, it's kind of cute. It was like a jack-o'-lantern. So I was like, yeah, I think it's supposed to be orange. She goes, oh, I haven't seen the orange pumpkin. She goes, wait, I have two more bins. So she opened the top on the bin and the box at pumpkin mug. She goes, wait. And then she sliced the box open and she was like, is this it? And I was like, that's it. So yeah, so I was like, I will take it. And there was two in the box, but I wasn't being stingy. Like it was a two pack box of everything. So yeah, so I was like, oh my gosh, I think this is so cute. And it kind of, yeah, did I need this? No, because I got the pink ones from Walmart, but you always need a traditional color something. So, 
that is so cute walgreens you guys for 7.99 i think that's a good price because these are not small mugs these are 19.2 they're not like your little 10 ounce or almost 20 ounces it's a huge mug how cute is that oh my gosh so yeah so so cute all right i am officially out of room um i showed you guys everything i'm like just but there's bags everywhere i need to clean this room again jesus i can never um i think i showed you guys everything i'm gonna get off of here because i said this was gonna be fast and it turned out to be long and this isn't even a video i'm supposed to be filming so i hope you guys enjoyed my haul wait i'm just joking i did a victoria's secret order i was gonna do a reel i took everything out of the victoria's secret online bag and i folded it and put it into this bag but i might as well show you guys you guys can see it first um but i got this zipper pink uh like i forgot what it's called but this is the back of it like a varsity sweater i guess isn't the back so cute it's a full zipper and my friends janine and paula when they were on her like little birthday uh outing uh, they went into the pink store and they were on sale for $30 and they each got one and I was like oh my god you guys are so stinking cute I need one so when I went online they were actually still on sale for $30 and then I had a coupon so mine came out to 20 so I was like yes so I got that and then you guys look at this color they came out with these hot hot pink I don't know if you guys can see in the mirror I'm wearing the really pale ones these are the same pants that say pink um, but I got the lighter pink ones on right now and they came out with this. I think it's called atomic pink and They are like a hot pink and they say pink, but you guys guess what I did I ordered a large and I'm a medium all the time in these all the time medium is my perfect size and I got a large So I need to go and exchange them Yeah And it's funny because I put these pink ones on today and I was like these are getting kind of loose on me and this was the first time I put them on today and I feel like the more I wear them they're gonna get bigger but I'm not getting the small I'm gonna stick to my medium and then I really like camo especially with fall coming up and these say it in cursive the other one was like block letters you guys can see that this is like cursive I thought that was cute with the hints of white on the camo and these are the ones that I like I always tell you guys the ones with the bottom that is like I don't know how you say that fitted they're not flare leg I like mine's fitted and then I posted this in my story already but every time I go on Victoria's Secret I always get a free panty from being like a pink member and all that and I saw that they had I don't really wear the cotton styles but this is the only one that I saw this pretty design in like pumpkin pumpkin pie and coffee and I was like oh my god Oh my god i'm getting that so that was free and then i got this cute shirt it's like a gradient from gray to pink and i have this in another t-shirt but this one's a little bit more fitted and this i got a medium but i could have probably got a small in this i have the matching pants to this that are gradient and then that's what the back looks like i love that gray and pink together and the shirt that I have to this is a little different and it was actually too big for me so when I saw that they came out like the shirt I have on now like more of a like fitted shirt when I saw that they had a more fitted one I jumped on it because the other one's a t-shirt so this is really cute and now I think I'm done um yeah I have a forever 21 hello kitty order but I didn't even bring it upstairs. It's been sitting downstairs in my living room um, for like a week. And I did not remember to bring it up. Um, well, it wasn't that I didn't remember. I just didn't know that I was about to film. I'm telling you, this is very impromptu. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And I'm probably not going to link anything because these are all like random finds from stores. So... If you guys have any questions about anything, just leave me a comment or message me on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, it will be linked down below. And I will also 
link a few other videos if you guys are new here and you don't know if you want to follow me yet or subscribe to me yet i will link some so you can keep watching get a snack and watch some more videos and then make a decision later no pressure like watch as many as you want and then decide but yeah i love you guys and i will see you guys on the next one bye claudia thank you so much for the ballot i love you bye